Thank you so much, Tamron. I, well, um, thank you to Tamron. Thank you to Alan. Thank you to Fabio. Thank you to Samantha, my other honoree in India, for singing a beautiful song for us. I, uh, I can um, sing in front of thousands of people and be on set, but one of my greatest fears is public speaking, so please forgive me for <laughs> being up here and shaking. But also, um, another huge fear of mine was my story, because I thought that if I shared my story, then people would view me as broken. And it's been 14 years. I held it in for 14 years. And I'm going to read off of this, because if not, I'm going to fall miserably. So um, I, uh, I met my abuser when I was 19 years old. He was 17 years my senior, but he was charming. And it all started, it all started amazing. Uh, and then one thing led to another started with little comments here and there. So it started with more verbal abuse, and then it started with a push or a shove, or, and then it became a choke. And if, I was like, all right, well, if you really choked me, and I'm thinking in my head, if you choked me harder, then I'm going to leave. But then if every time I tried to leave, no one knew that I married him, too. So that was a little bit of a, I felt trapped. Uh, I was 19, and made some bad decisions, but long story short, um, it kept getting worse, and I didn't know how to get out, and I thought that it was my fault, because he truly blamed me for everything, uh, and so I lost all my friends. I got dropped by every agent and manager in the business, because I was doing terrible at auditions, and I truly felt like I was stuck. Um, when, I, when I said on the video about my grandpa is because I truly, I did not know how to get out and I didn't know there was a place that could help me, but also because I didn't know if anyone would believe me. I didn't know. So I just hid, and I hid, and I hid, and that's when I finally was like, I don't want to live my life like this anymore. So I prayed to my grandpa, and I said, please just take me away, because I don't want to be, I don't want to be this person, because I was a, a girl with full of light and full of energy and charm, and this man just broke me down to absolute nothing. So on that next day is when he choked me, said he was going to kill me, and ended up strangling me till I lost my breath. But I saw, I saw my whole life flash before my eyes. I, I saw my birth to my funeral, and I just remember seeing my mom. And it's like, why couldn't I reach out to my family? And that's what I love about Safe Horizon was because there is a place where you, you can reach out and you can talk about it. And I unfortunately didn't have Safe Horizon on my side, but once my abuser was in jail and I was able to finally be set free from him, my family became my Safe Horizon. But now knowing that Safe Horizon is here and I was able to go today um, to see the shelter and it was beautiful to see because it inspired me to know that not only can we now speak about it, but we can also have shelter and we can get help. And I think what impacted me the most was walking in to, I have a 14 month old baby girl and I would do anything in the world to protect her. And to go in there and see these beautiful children being protected means the absolute world to me as a mother. And then I also know those mothers there too are so grateful. So thank you so much to Safe Horizon for everything you do. And I have never been more proud. I remember my manager's here tonight, and I remember saying, I have a, a really important story that I want to tell because I never understood why it happened to me. But now knowing the platform that I have, I want to be able to be a, a voice. And I want to be able to help as many people because it happened to me because 
God knew that I could rise from it and, and be healthy and figure out my shit. Sorry. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's just the Detroit in me. But <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> so, but thank you so much again to Safe Horizon for everything you do. I'm so proud to be um, this honoree and put a nail in a campaign. I will be the loudest voice for you guys um, to end domestic violence. So thank you so much for everyone being here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Tamron Hall.